Hello, it's Catholicum Philosopher again. Our topic for today is about the infallibility of the Pope when he declares dogma and morality. A great number of people, the 4,000 plus denominations, which are non-Catholics or even anti-Catholics, don't believe on the infallibility of the Pope when he declares dogma and morals. But then, simple philosophy, logic, and common sense, if they don't believe on infallibility as a concept that is declaring something as erroneous when it comes to matters of faith and morals, then why should we believe them? If those who, that be, who do not believe in the infallibility of the Pope are not infallible, then we should not believe them because they can be erroneous because they are not infallible. Simple. But mind you, a great number of these non-Catholics or even anti-Catholics accept the teaching authority of the Pope by default. Those people who believe that the 27 books of the New Testament are inspired and the 36 books of the Old Testament are inspired actually believe in the teaching authority of the church because it is the Catholic Church that declared this book to be inspired. So by default, on this aspect, we believe in the infallibility of the Pope. And those people who believe in the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, three divine persons, by default again, accept the infallibility of the Pope. Because you have this in the Bible, but it's not stated about Trinity. And people who believe that Christ is a true God and a true man, two natures, true God and true man, by default again, believe in the infallibility of the Pope. It is the Catholic Church who teaches this. So for those of you, ladies and gentlemen, who do not believe in the infallibility of teachings of your church, then why are you staying in the church? If your pastors, your elders, do not teach you about morals infallibly, then they may be teaching you about something which is erroneous. Okay? So we as Catholics believe in the infallibility of the Pope when he teaches on matters of faith and morals. It's not about having personal sins. It's about the teaching authority of the Pope. God bless us all Catholics, and we pray also for non-Catholics that we should love each other as Christians. God bless us all.